Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Floral Texture Overlays. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how you can install the actions, use them and get started um, using the texture overlays with your images. I'm also going to show you how you can um, apply these textures manually by hand and some really handy hacks and tweaks you can use to get them really looking beautiful with your images. The first thing you need to do is download the floral textures um, from the LSP Actions website. There are several sets to choose from. In this tutorial I'm using the Masters Painterly um, set, but the same goes for all of the texture florals. You will also have um, the floral texture applicator Photoshop Action. So let's get started with those first. To add them into Photoshop you can double click, you can drag and drop, or you can install manually. I'm going to double click. In this tutorial, I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud on Windows. This is the best um, Windows or Mac. Photoshop Creative Cloud is the best one to use for these textures because you get the most options. But if you're using older versions um, like Photoshop CS4, CS5, CS6, um, Photoshop Elements, I'm going to show you a few tricks you can use to make the textures work really well with the um, older versions of Photoshop too. With all versions of Photoshop, to download the actions, you can just double click and that means the actions are installed. If you can't see your action panel, come up here to Windows and choose Actions. And you will notice the LSP Floral Texture um, actions are at the bottom of your action panel. If you're viewing in grey mode like this, um, you can simply close the group and drag it to the top. This is what I like to do with Photoshop Actions, just so they're right at the top so I can use them um, easily. But this is entirely up to you. So I'm just going to pop them there at the top and Click the little drop down to open these actions. If you prefer to use in coloured button mode, you can come up here um, and choose button mode. To play an action, these are the ones with the triangles on. The little play buttons, you need to click the action and hit play. In button mode, you can just click the action and it will play without you having to do anything else. If your button mode looks a little bit all over the place, simply bring it in until it snaps into a nice neat column and you will see the actions here in one click coloured order. You have applicator actions for Creative Cloud, that's CC. These are the ones I'm going to be using. If you're using an older version, make sure you click on the CS6, um, CS to PSE uh, versions here because otherwise it won't work. The actions in the CC action, they use elements um, and features that are just not available in the older programs. This is why I really recommend using Creative Cloud because it has many more new features that you can use um, to help you edit even better, like subject selection. You will notice you have actions for mid to dark backgrounds, such as this one. Mid-tone to darker seamless backgrounds, use these actions. If you're using a light, airy and pale, for example like this, you're going to want to use the light and pale background texture applicators. But don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in just a minute. And you can check out the individual videos below um, on this playlist to see exactly how to use the textures. This video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, how to get started with the textures. But for the full tutorials, you're going to want to scroll down and look at the rest of the playlist to see which ones apply to your image. Now, before you place the textures onto your image, the most important thing to do is that you unzip them, um, extract them from this file. Otherwise, Photoshop's going to say there's no parser or file format associated and it will not be able to use a zipped file. I'm not sure why Adobe still can't use a zip file, but it just can't. So what you need to do on Windows is right click and hit extract all. On a Mac, you can double click or use the archive utility option. Either way, you need to unzip and get into these textures. So now you will notice you have an unzipped file here. If it's got the zip on it um, in any way, however it displays on your icons, it's not usable yet. That just means it's compressed. So you need to uncompress that. And inside, you will see the um, the floral textures that you have purchased. Let's just open this up here. For this tutorial, I'm using the uh, the Masters Painterly, um, which these are very heavily painted. They're absolutely gorgeous for the old Masters feel, um, but the same applies for whichever floral texture set that you have purchased. So let's just get that out of the way. And now you're all set with your file unlocked, unzipped, um, with your painter textures. I'd save them somewhere that's easy to access on your computer and you have the actions installed. You also need to be able to see your layers panel. If you can't see it, come up here to window and click layers and you're ready to go. So please do watch the next video tutorials to see exactly how to apply the textures to your images.
I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.